Anthony Soprano Jr., who is called AJ, is the main character of this documentary movie based on the TV series The Sopranos. In season six, he suffered from a major depressive disorder. The DSM-4-TR classification for major depressive disorder, its symptoms, and AJ's specific behavior will be explained later on. However, at the beginning, we will shortly introduce his background for a better understanding of him as a person. He is not an ordinary boy from an ordinary nuclear family. His family is of Italian descent and lives in New Jersey. But what makes them different from the general average population living there? His father, Tony Soprano, is involved in organized crime, being the boss of the family de Mayo from Essex County, New Jersey. Throughout the six seasons, viewers can observe his struggle to chain a private family life and leadership in the Mafia. From a very young age, AJ had disciplinary problems at home and at school. At school, he and his friends steal sacramental wine and turn up drunk and googling at gym class. The Colucci, Barbara Soprano, let's go, sync up. Well, man, I don't feel so good. I don't want any excuses. Mr. Meskimen, I gotta go to the bathroom. Is that alcohol on your breath? Oh, no. <laughs> In addition, a school psychologist suspected that AJ may have some learning disability. After extensive testing and meeting with school counselors, he was deemed to be suffering from attention deficit disorder. Thing is, though, and it's not just this one incident. Anthony sometimes has trouble following the rules weighing consequences at times doesn't think before he acts and it's thought that there's a good possibility Anthony could be ADD ADD I'm sorry attention deficit disorder it was obvious throughout the various seasons that AJ had a strong family history of multiple psychiatric disorders his father was diagnosed with depression from the beginning of the series he was on medication and would see a therapist regularly. His mother, Carmela, visited some therapists a few times, too. Everybody's marriage has problems. Is he seeing another woman? Uh, yeah, you can make that plural. Yes, he sees other women. Moreover, his father had antisocial personality disorder and panic disorder without agoraphobia. AJ, similarly like his father, experiences panic attacks as well. Where's the plano? Here. I'm naming him defensive captain. All right, all right. So let's hit those showers one thought in mind. Soprano. AJ's father's involvement in organized crime causes strains on his parents' relationship. Due to these marital issues between his parents, AJ would often act out during their period of separation and possible divorce. God damn you! I have been going crazy trying to reach you. Look later, I don't what feel What happened good. to your face? Well, just leave me alone. No, I want to know what happened. You never even went to Meadows after you gave me your word. Get off my back. You are a liar. Fuck you. What did you say? Get back here. As A.J. got older, his father insisted on him becoming more responsible and not a failure in life. As a way to make A.J. more productive, his father got him a job at a construction site. A.J. started the job and was doing well. There he met a Puerto Rican girl named Blanca. They started dating and soon became close. You gonna come over, take me on a date? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to call me, right? Eventually, AJ proposed to Blanca. Oh, my God. Anthony. You like it? It's gorgeous. I don't know what to say. Look, I love you. I love you, too. So marry me, then. What? 
I need to give this back to you. I can't keep it. Why? I mean, I love you. I love you too, Anthony. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Unfortunately, after some reconsideration, Blanca decided that AJ was not right for her and broke up with him. This is when he became depressed. Based on the DSM-4 TR classification, AJ suffered from a major depressive disorder and the following symptoms have been present throughout the same two-week period and represent a change from previous functioning. At least one of the symptoms is either depressed mood or loss of interest or pleasure. Look, I'm fucking depressed, okay? However, it does not include symptoms that are clearly due to a general medical condition or mood incongruent delusions or hallucinations. He seemed to lack energy for quite some time. There were no suicidal ideations initially, but he was constantly withdrawn and with markedly diminished interest or pleasure in all or almost all activities most of the day, nearly every day. I don't know. What did I do that I did? Yeah, I guess Jason Jervis, he called. What'd you tell him? I didn't call him back. How come? Because I don't want to go. Of course not. Beer strippers, fucking around with guys your own age. You hate all that shit. He also experienced decreased appetite, causing a significant weight loss when not dieting. Jesus, how many times are you going to ask me? You've heard the term comfort food. Maybe it'll make you feel better. I know this is hard for you to believe, but food may not be the answer to every problem. Could not sleep nearly every day. What are you doing up so early? Couldn't sleep. He also suffered nearly every day from feelings of worthlessness or excessive and inappropriate guilt, which may be delusional. He also began seeing a therapist and was prescribed antidepressants. I don't know. I mean, I wish there was a reason, but she says there isn't. Are you sleeping a lot? I'm tired. But I keep waking up. Nightmares? I just keep thinking about her. I mean, it hurts, but I can't help it. Does anything in life give you pleasure lately? I don't know. Not really. There's a medication called Lexapro. It's an antidepressant. I have friends who take that. Well, I'm going to write you a prescription. Just as things seemed like they would never improve, AJ met some childhood friends whose fathers were also in the Mafia with his father. He started hanging out with them and seemed to be improving. He even began to take some college courses. After the African-American student incident, he developed similar symptoms to what he was displaying after his breakup with Blanca. You must have seen fights before. Your friends beating up the African kid. Why do you think that's been impossible to shake? And they had my back after all the shit with Blanca. Now they care about me. Did you try to stop the beating? I'm one individual. Uh, what could I do? You seem to be taking it all personally. You think your feelings about Blanca in any way relate to this African boy? She's not black. I mean, she's pretty tan. You know, I know kids on Lexapro who say it's great. And I still feel like shit. AJ dropped out of college and again confined himself to his room. His ability to think or concentrate began to diminish nearly every day. What's going on with you? Is this still about Blanca? You know, I don't know anymore. Okay. But you need to learn to shut stuff out. Are you crazy? I mean, do you hear what we're talking about? Why don't you try setting goals for yourself? Maybe you should move out. All right, in my condition. I mean, I can't hold a job. Jesus, AJ, there has to be something you can do. Look, I'm ill, Meadow. And I'm on medication. I mean, don't you ever feel like there's no point to any of this? 
The other symptom is recurrent thoughts of death, recurrent suicidal ideation without a specific plan, or a suicide attempt or a specific plan for committing suicide. AJ progressed to the point that he attempted to kill himself. AJ was admitted to an inpatient psychiatric facility and received the therapy he needed. I love you, sweetie. I love you. I love you, too. He's had a lot of value. The only criterion that does not pertain to AJ is psychomotor agitation or retardation like being restless or slowed down. His symptoms cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, I quit. or other important areas of functioning. In addition, they are not due to the direct physiological effects of a substance like abuse of a drug or medication or any general medical condition. AJ displays inter-episode recovery between his two major depressive episodes, making his case of major depressive disorder recurrent. The average person watching AJ on The Sopranos would receive an accurate portrayal of major depressive disorder with recurrent episodes. He displays majority of the symptoms for the disorder in the two episodes he has had. These breaks of normalcy between the two episodes are crucial in understanding major depressive episodes, especially when the depression is recurrent. Major depressive disorder is highly heritable, so watching AJ's father, who also displays signs of depression, helps to understand some of the genetic influence on depression. Obviously, I'm prone to depression. A certain bleak attitude about the world. But I know I can handle it. Your kids, though. And then they think you're the cause of it. How are you the cause of it? It's in his blood, this miserable fucking existence. My rotten fucking putrid genes have infected my kid's soul. That's my gift to my son. Proper treatment of AJ's major depressive disorder would, given his severe symptom levels, include beginning with antidepressant medication. Cognitive behavioral therapy might also be added in order to increase effectiveness of treatment. It does not seem that electroconvulsive therapy would be necessary in AJ's case, since he does not exhibit psychotic symptoms or catatonia.